It may not look it, but this is some of the deadliest ground in the world. During the Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s, the opposing armies buried some 26 million landmines along their common border. American combat engineers are now trying to make sure the mines here can't be harvested by insurgents. One of the dangers we, we don't want to happen is uh, insurgents coming into this minefield, harvesting the mines, and selling them on the black market. Then all the artillery shells uh, that you see out here can be used as IEDs. Right now we are on uh, off a of route Asia. Uh, it is uh, a route right before the Iran and Iraq border. Uh, we found an AP mine, anti-personnel Italian mine, on the side of the road, and we just blew it up. Uh, it was the only one that was really hindering any uh, movement on this road. When we do find something, IED mine out here that's in the way uh, of uh, continuing the mission, what we'll do is we'll dismount a guy with a Talon robot, and the robot is used to carry explosives. What'll happen is he'll, play, he'll place C4 on the mine, bring it back to his vehicle, load the robot back up, we'll call for air clearance, and then from there we'll blow up the IED. It takes almost an hour to scout the area and clear just this one mine. And landmines are only one hazard. Uh, we find artillery shells where they didn't blow up once uh, either side of the war was firing on each other. They just hit the ground and didn't explode. We also, if you can look around the area, you can see where they had fighting positions, anti-tank mines, anti-personnel mines. Uh, we found some what was called uh, bouncing beddies out here. On their patrol today, the soldiers found that Iraqis had dug up seven bouncing beddy mines for insurgents to collect later. It's not the stuff that we can actually see, because is if you pan around, you can see actual artillery shells and some mines that are above ground. Uh, and that's not what worries us. It's the, wor the stuff that worries us is the stuff we can't see that, that's really out there. We don't know it's there. There's no way of telling it's there with the equipment we have uh, unless we just drive over it. This is Alex Kingsbury for U.S. News and World Report.